on a 2004 Pontiac Montana. Project number one. I'm getting water on the inside of my floorboard over on the passenger side. Time to get busy, work on the Montana. One more time, coming right up. It's basically running all over the floor. And I notice, especially when it's 99 degrees, humidity 100%, it's even worse. Tells me it's the AC. It's the AC condenser line is somehow draining on the inside and not on the outside. So what I'm gonna attempt to do today, there's a little piece of hose, just like this right here. The firewall on the 2004 Pontiac Montana, the condensation line is on the inside of the vehicle and it sticks through like this. But instead of sticking through, it's almost cut off with the firewall. So I believe what's happening is water is coming out of that hose and it's actually turning and going back in that drain line and dripping off inside the firewall, which is coming down on my floor. ahead and pulled the carpet out of the front of the Montana. I want to make sure that I get it nice and clean, make sure there's no mildew growing on it, make sure I get this leak fixed before I put it back in. Okay. So basically they make this little hose here and what I'm going to attempt to do, it's going to be very difficult to get on the outside of that firewall where that pipe is cut off, stubbed, even with the firewall, to try to get up in there and get this piece of hose to get connect to that line right there. That is gonna be project number one. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do it or not. I'm gonna make an attempt underneath. That's why I put the Montana up on the stands here. Try to go underneath and I'm gonna to try to reach up in there and I'm gonna to try to get it that way. If not, I gotta figure out a way to fish down through the front of the engine and get it. But it is in a horribly tight position. And I'll show you a picture exactly where it's at because it took me a long time to even locate it. Right up there where my light is hitting is the hole coming out of the firewall. That is where the condensation line comes out and you notice it is not protruding through the firewall. Now here's something pretty important. When you work on a vehicle underneath that vehicle, wear you some good safety goggles. Little pieces of everything will fall down. Dirt, rust, all kind of things will fall down. So make sure you've got you a good set if you're gonna get underneath your vehicle. Peeled off a little bit of the insulation on the firewall on the outside to expose the tube that's coming out. Now you got to be careful. I've got my safety goggles on and I also put a mask on because that is insulation and it is raining down on top of me. I can see the hose sticking out so now I'm going to try to reach up in there and get this elbow to fit on there. Okay, what I found out from being underneath is I got the little piece of pipe exposed, but it's only sticking through the firewall. I bet it's not even hardly sticking through an eighth of an inch, maybe three eighths of an inch. So what I'm gonna try to do now is go from the inside and see if I can possibly figure out where this pipe is coming through, see if I can't adjust it a little bit, go through the firewall a little bit more. I don't wanna go through all this procedure and then drive down the road and my piece of elbow hose falls off. And you can see I've got the carpet taken out. If you have this problem and it's leaking on you, you got to take care of it because what happens is you have all your wire harnesses down here. And if you don't take care of it, they're all sitting in water. And you can see that it's been going on for a while because I've got some rust down here. You can tell I've got a lot of things taken off here. I've got an old towel down here just to soak up the water. 
it's one of those things that you got to take care of because it's it's a real problem if you a don't. Good indication of how much water can collect, especially on these hot, humid days. Off, I got my carpet out. This is just your bare metal. This here is like an insulation mat that goes against a firewall. Watch what happens when I pull this up. Look how much water is in there. See that? And that's all been, that's all coming down, running back on the inside and then running over this whole area right here. And it actually gets over into the driver's side and everything. That's why it's got to be taken care of. Okay, I believe I located it and it is right there going through. That is the drain line. I'm almost sure. And the bad thing is it looks like it's a one piece plastic deal. I was hoping it was a hose that I could push through, a pipe that I could push through a little bit further, but it is solid, it's one piece. So really, it is what it is. It, there's just, they should have extended that out a little bit further, but gosh dang, nothing I can do underneath here. So that plastic tube that's sticking through the firewall, that is the condensing drain tube, was only about an eighth of an inch, maybe three sixteenths of an inch sticking through the firewall. I tried to put that little elbow on there and I got it on there, but I could tell if I'm driving down a bumpy road or whatever, it's gonna fall back off, which would be useless to try to do. I tried it from inside the dash, I found out it's one solid unit that won't move, can't do anything there. Came back on the outside from up above. I took this little device here, and this is actually a gun cleaning rod. But you can see it's got a pretty narrow tip on the end of it. I was able to take this cleaning rod, and I had to go down through here. It's funny, it's almost like it reminds me what a surgeon must be like operating with uh, fiber optics or something. So I was able to take this rod and go down through there where the tube is coming out. Let's say this is the tube coming out and then your firewall is just a little bit bigger and it's steel. It was sticking out about 3 16 of an inch, but I took this rod and I was able to get in there and push it down in between the steel firewall and the tube coming out. And I'm able to push it and it feels like there's some kind of a star foam insulation. And the more I was able to push it around the perimeter of the tube, the more I was able to get a little bit more exposed. So now it looks to me like I probably got at least a quarter inch, maybe even five sixteenths sticking through. And that way there, I think it's gonna be able to hold. Okay, and there it is. Now that was only an eighth to three sixteenths, but I was able to take that rod and push that insulation back in all the way around it. And now it's sticking out probably a quarter, five sixteenths, maybe even three eighths. So that's enough, I believe, to get my elbow on there and push it back in there hard enough where it's gonna stay. So I will do that from underneath the vehicle. But there's the location. That's a good shot of the location of the drain tube coming okay, out. I'm gonna crawl back in here and see if I can't get that elbow to hook up. Now, what's important is this mask because that is insulation and it's probably old school insulation. Being a 2004, you don't want that in your lungs. You don't want that in your eyes. As soon as I get this project done, I'm definitely heading for the shower and washing all that off because it can irritate your skin like you can can't imagine. So let me get in here and see if I can't get this hooked up. This isn't near as hard as putting those struts on and things like that, the things I've done to the 2004 Pontiac. You know, this is just an operation. It's a tedious operation, but I think I'm getting pretty close to succeeding. Okay, here's a better shot. That is the tube going through the firewall. And this insulation's all wet. You can kind of see the firewall underneath there where it's wet and it's just running it's running right down the firewall underneath this mat getting the floor all wet i'm getting real close to getting this fixed what's funny is it looks like the whole unit should have been pushed out about another probably three eighths of an inch and that would make that tube come through there enough to get the elbow on see this in here see that's away from that firewall right there i can feel up in there i don't know I don't know why they make things the way they do, but I need to push it this way. I need to 
push it toward the firewall, but it won't go. In, in case yours is doing this and you really try to attempt this, I want to try to make it as realistic as possible. Let's say this is the tube that is coming through your firewall, and that's where your water drains out for your AC. Your condensed water drains out, comes out this tube, and should go out onto the ground. Draining out, and if you ever watched water, especially if it's a level, if the pipe is level, or maybe even descending backwards, what will happen is water will run out here and it will actually curl and come back here and drip off in here. And I'm pretty sure that's what's happening to the 2004 Pontiac Montana. The water is dripping out, dripping, dripping. You know, it's not running. There's no pressure. It's just dripping and it's dripping, running on the edge and coming down. And I can see it on my firewall on the inside. And then, of course, then it's coming down and getting into my carpet, my padding and all that. Let's say this is the firewall. Okay, so you can see you've got your steel around you've got your tube now what I need to do is I need to take this piece I need to connect it inside this tube first problem I had is number one this tube should be sticking out a lot farther it was almost pretty close to that right there when I started working on it well now I've got this tube sticking out at least a quarter inch or more the problem is the tube is sitting on the firewall like this I've got plenty of room at the top now that I've dug that insulation out all the way around it I've got plenty but it the tube is laying on the firewall so when I go to put my gasket on there, the bottom of this tube is hitting the bottom of the firewall. Right. Is I'm going to try to get a screwdriver or some kind of a tool from the inside. I'm going to try to pry up on that to level that off like that. If I can get it to sit like that, then I can get my elbow to slide all the way inside the firewall and then I'm good to go. So I'm getting pretty close. It's sitting like that. I just need to try to get it like this this is all steel this is your firewall going all the way around so it's impossible to try to get in there and cut some of that out so let me see if I can't get in there and shim that up and try to lift that up a little bit of course the thing is I'm working with plastic the material coming out of the firewall is exactly like this material right here it's plastic so if I mess up and I put too much pressure on it guess what I'm gonna break it if I break it now I'm in a world of hurt because now it's gonna be cracked and it's gonna run out I may crack the whole box inside there if you're gonna try this it's pretty dang complicated it's not an easy fix but if you're like me and you got a lot of patience and you want to just keep messing with it and try to fix it, I guess if you don't fix it, you can always take it to your mechanic and he may have a different solution for you. Well, let's give this a shot. Oh, by the way, thank you for coming to the channel. And hey, hit that subscribe button, please. Smash that down. I really appreciate it. And it gives me the opportunity to put out more videos to help you and folks are having trouble with their Montana and then a lot of other different subjects I cover hit that subscribe button I really appreciate it. So if you follow some of my videos you know I'm always saying I'm not a mechanic I'm not a mechanic well I'm definitely not a mechanic what I am is I'm a contractor general contractor so that makes a big difference that's why if you look through some of my videos I, there's a lot of different things I repair I fix I do and that's because it just takes a lot of times you got to think through and figure things out just like this condensation line I'm trying to figure it out and slowly but surely I think I'm getting here is I'm gonna get underneath there and I'm gonna try to pry that unit up from the inside all I need is about an eighth of an inch and then I'm going to put a shim underneath it to hold it go on the outside if I can center that tube in the firewall hole I'll have it so what I was able to do is I've got my screwdriver and I was able to get it between the bottom of the firewall and the tube flange I twisted my screwdriver which lifted it up probably about an eighth of an inch or so so now i'm going to get underneath there and see if that's giving me enough room for that elbow to slide all the way in oh and when i mentioned that about being a contractor a general contractor the main job of a general contractor is to solve problems you think it through and try to solve a problem and come up with a solution 
If you can do that, then you're a pretty good general. Okay, so there it is installed. I am hoping, it seems like it did slide in there a little bit better, and I'm hoping that is gonna work okay. The little tube, the elbow was only like $13. I got it on Amazon. Worst case scenario, I drive down the road, I notice I'm gonna keep checking on it, I notice maybe it came apart. That way I know I gotta order another one. Now I know how to get there, what I'm doing, where the access hole is, so it should make it a little bit easier if I want to try and work on it again hopefully that will do it though I'm not gonna put my carpet back in I'm not gonna put my pads back in I'm gonna wait and see if that'll do the trick Ooh, that was tough to get to I couldn't get my camera in this tight area so I'm using my phone which is a lot slimmer so I'm just going to slowly pull it out to show you where and there it is right between the three and the four Oops. you go back there a lot of stuff in the way you go back there straight back and there it is coming out right there so hopefully that will solve the problem I'm thinking that that is going to work on problem number one that I worked on today Hopefully that water will now start draining on the outside rather than going on the inside and getting everything wet. So I appreciate you coming to the channel. That's LAF Space Film Fest. That's capital LAF Space Film Fest. 2004, you're doing all right. I'm going to keep working on you, keep fixing her up. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. And you have a good day. <laughs> The whole system is working great now. So much water comes out and goes out on the road where it's supposed to, rather than inside on my floorboards, on my mats, and making everything a mess. That was well worth the effort to fix that project.